Hi everybody from a beautiful day in the Mojave. Today we're looking at a new mod from Remco Verbeek and it is the Kilkenny Estate. I'll show you where we are in a sec. We're sort of overlooking Nipton. But whoa, look at that pool. I'm delighted with this property. It's a kind of, well, he styled it as a rancho villa. It's certainly something, isn't it? Have you ever seen anything like it? Okay, let's get down and have a closer look and I'll tell you how you can get this beauty. Okay, so looking at the map, I'll show you where we are. So we're right down the bottom here. Kilkenny Estate is near to Bradley Shack and the Mojave Drive-In. You're in this area. So when you get here, you'll find that it's locked. You won't be able to get in. But just look around the outside. Look at the chimney. It's so fab. And then down here... The most amazing pool. Wow, oh, I love that. Super nice, isn't it? I mean, what a luxury. <laughs> All right, so to get the key, uh, you need to go into a tunnel. So I'll show you where that is. Just basically going down here. Um, all the, It's quite a distance to Trapes. And you will find yourself up against fire ants and so many fire ants. Um, oh my god. So I've got K9 with me and Ed. And both of them seem to manage pretty well actually, for the most part, you know, negotiating the area. K9 did have a little bit of difficulty, but that's no, you know, no surprise really. He is a little metal dog on wheels. I'm still in my, <laughs> my, my Who Vegas outfit. A little bit of Matt Smith, a little bit of David Tennant, although I notice I've got some purple texture on my tassel. All right, so here we are. Pain in the A, this was. It goes on forever, I'm not even joking. All right, so here we are in a little section of it. Um, basically, you're going to find giant ants everywhere. They poof out of these round holes it's quite dark in here so you might want to turn your brightness up i had it at full brightness when i got in here um just because i actually couldn't see a blinking thing um whereas the house on the other hand is quite bright uh, which i will show you in a second ew they're so vile and horrible luckily you get the kind of little poof noise before they appear so you know they're coming but man you are going to have to go up and up and up and it goes on forever and I don't even know, I didn't count, obviously, how many ants I killed. Uh, but there were a ton of them. So, yeah, that's a nice bit of footage for you of dead squishy ants. Nice. Uh, eventually, you will get to an elevator shaft. Oh, by the way, you'll have to kill the queen. Um, that's the, the, she's got the key, basically. All right, then, let's get back to the house. So I reckon the first thing to say about this is how exquisite these doors are. I really like the tiles going up to it and those doors are everything. I assume that they're from one of the casinos. I honestly can't recall which, but it's super nice, isn't it? And how interesting the whole roof treatment and the windows, which we can't see in, but when you're inside, you can see out. Very cool. Okay, so do you see what I mean? How nice and bright it is in here. Brilliant entrance hall. I really like the stone. A little hat you can take away, somewhere to sit and take your shoes off. Pretty floral arrangements. Look at these hollyhocks. They are really nicely done. Gorgeous. Telephone. <laughs> that is such a, oh, I don't know, such a throwback, isn't it? My parents used to have a, gone to Sierra Madre, um, a, a, a console table in the hallway for our one and only landline. You know, back in the day. <laughs> and then this treatment here with the tiles, the round column in the centre and everything coming off it. Loving the rug and the massive dining table. This wonderful thing. So pretty. And as I say, look at the views. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is spectacular some bits of fruit and chandelier obviously lovely too and then you have this beautiful bar come kitchen there are bits and pieces in the fridge in the uh, storage boxes and whatnot for you to take a few caps and whatnot 
Here's your cooking area. But yeah, the views. How nice being able to look out. I love that feature. And you don't see it in every mod. You know it's not something that's that common. And I've, I don't know how many of Remco Verbeek's mods I've now seen, but quite a few. Here's your workroom. You've got a reloading bench, workbench, repair area. Nice. Do your ironing and your washing and your drying. It is very nice, don't you think? Garden gnome. Just because. Seems to have lost canine. God knows where he's gone to. He's very fussy, let me tell you, if you play Who Vegas. Okay, so the bathroom is kind of fab and... Uh, I don't even know what to say about it. We've got his and hers, or his and his, hers and hers, sinks. Some nice wall art. Again, with the views over the mountain. Some beautiful daffodils. Have I ever seen daffodils in Fallout New Vegas? I don't think so. Look how nice. And the only thing that I was kind of like, what is that? There's your, my first infirmary, by the way. The wall art is kind of interesting. It's scatological wall art. I don't know. I like the frames, though. <laughs> and there's your loo. And then moving on round, we've got another little console table with a light. And then your bedroom. Reasonably clean bed, eh? Nice little dressing screen. These are interesting, having protectrons around and about the place's decor. <laughs> we wore bonnet. Ooh, nice. Again, different view. Wow. So nice. And a sofa so you can just sit and enjoy it. Do you know, one of my favourite things is definitely the hollyhocks. This wall art. It's a choice, isn't it? <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. High roller suit. In case you fancy a change. And here is the elevator shaft to... The tunnel downstairs, which you can call, although why you'd ever want to go back there, I don't even know. Drinks area? Absinthe, wow. Well, have you ever had that? I never have, but um, I hear it's vicious. <laughs> Another dude. And then this, ooh, lovely. How interesting is this? Lovely wraparound sofa. Gorgeous fireplace. Again with the views and a pool table. And then we're back to the front door. What do you think? It feels roomy, but, but yes, it's got quite a lot of decoration in it, which I love. I love its location. I'm sorted out with my cigarettes. I like to be able to smoke in my video games because I'm not allowed in real life. <laughs> All right, then. I think that covers just about everything. Um, obviously, download it. Check it out for yourself. I think it's fab. I'll leave you with this view called at the end and I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.